Welcome to Infection Prevention and Control Training of Trainers video. Session 4. What is the importance of waste management in IPC? This session will help you to appreciate the importance of waste management in infection prevention and control. You will learn about the different types of waste that are generated in healthcare settings and how they should be dealt with in order to maintain a clean healthcare environment. You will also learn about the key steps that should be taken in order to establish and maintain an effective waste management system at your healthcare facility. Uh, waste management, uh, as we all know, is uh, actually a program that is actually meant to manage the waste uh, from point of production up to the point of disposal. Waste management in IPC refers to all activities, administrative and operational, involved in the handling, treatment, conditioning, storage, transportation and disposal of waste. In every healthcare facility, different types of waste are generated on a daily basis. It is important to know these types of waste in order to store and dispose them properly. So in this case, like we are talking about infection prevention and control, our focus in this regard is much more to do with medical care waste, which entails the type of waste that is produced in healthcare facilities. What are these type of waste? So we are categorizing them or classify them further to hazardous waste, to infectious waste, and also to domestic waste. So the domestic waste which is produced in the hospital environment or healthcare setting, such as plastics, leftover foods, those must be managed properly to ensure that they don't create an environment which can be a media for transmission of diseases. They don't create an environment which may attract other insects, vectors and rodents that may come in the environment and cause other devastating effects. Now other wastes can be also referred to hazardous waste. Hazardous waste could be the waste which can be, which will have got chemicals. For example, the waste that is coming from X-ray department, which has got radioactive materials. The waste that is coming from the laboratory, which has got which has got chemicals. That kind of waste can be called hazard, um, hazardous waste and can be put into the brown bin liner so that they are identified and they are disposed accordingly. There are also other type of waste which, has called, which, are, which are called inf infectious waste. Infectious waste are the waste which can be able to have the potential to infect others, such as sharps, such as maybe tissues, body tissues, blood and blood product, secretion and excretion. Those type of waste actually coming from other treatment rooms and other areas, they can be actually also be put into yellow bin liners. And once all those have been done, they must be segregated, sorted out and transported to the final destination point, which is the incinerator. Appropriate modern incinerator, which is where they are actually incinerated. And after the incineration, the ash that now comes out, comes out from there, again, there must be a link with the local authority for final disposal. The, uh, and then for temporal storage, we need to make sure that uh, the waste must be stored in different types of uh, bins or collection point or receptacles for a simple reason. After segregation, the storage must be that uh, they must be put into color-coded bin liners, color-coded bin liners for the purpose of identification and failure not to mix up the waste. So they must be sorted out, segregated and stored in different bin liners. Safe and secure transportation and segregation equipment must also be used during this stage. Always use plastic or galvanized metal leak-proof containers with leads and washed waste containers in 0.5% chlorine solution and rinsed with water after each use. It is important to ensure that adequate and appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE is used when moving waste to its final disposal or treatment location. So in short, the healthcare waste is the waste which is generated from the hospital setting, which can be food and food products and uh, domestic, it can, it can be also hazardous, it can be also be infectious waste. 
And once these wastes are done, they must be stored, first of all, segregated or separated and put into respectable res res respective receptacles, uh, which are color-coded yellow, uh, color-coded brown, color-coded black, and put them respectively there. And it's recommended that the domestic waste should never, never be mixed with infectious or hazardous waste because the mode of disposal is different. They must be separated. The other one should be disposed within the hospital environment through incineration, and the domestic waste should be separated and be kept separately, transported separately, and be taken outside the hospital environment to the designated landfill or a dump site. This session has introduced you to the importance of waste management in infection prevention and control. You have learned about the different types of healthcare wastes, how they are labelled, stored and disposed. You have also learned about the key steps that should be taken from waste generation to final disposal or treatment in order to establish and maintain an effective waste management system at healthcare facility level.